everyone. We're going to kick off your native elements mineral list with a mineral that you're all probably already familiar with. Um, and that's going to be gold, as you can see here. I've got a couple different um, representations of what gold might look like in nature, and then a representation of where you might be able to find gold in something called a hydrothermal deposit. So let's get started on the physical properties or the diagnostic properties that you would use to identify this in a hand sample. So this sample here is going to be like a gold nugget. Um, and the first thing that you'll notice and that everyone notices about gold is that it has a metallic luster. Obviously, it looks like a metal here, very shiny. Um, and one thing that's notable about gold is that it does not readily reduce or oxidize. And so it's unlikely that you'll ever see it tarnished or having any kind of rust or something like that on it. It's always going to be this bright yellow that has no marks or dark marks on it. Um, and this is also going to be really high in density. It's very heavy um, and has a higher specific gravity as well. This nugget is pretty dense in my hand as I'm holding it. Um, another thing about gold is its innate softness. Usually it's pretty soft at about a 2.5 or 3. Um, let me see if it's out of focus there. Yeah, perfect. So it's at about a 2.5 or 3, so you could normally scratch a penny with this. A little residue might come off. You could maybe scratch it with a fingernail if it's really pure, um, but it all just depends on the sample. If you find it in something like this here, this is a chunk of quartz, and we've got a couple tiny little pieces, one right there, one here on the edge. Hold it up to the light for you. These pieces are likely to be a little bit more soft than this nugget right here. This nugget stayed intact. Um, and let me think here. So we've got our metallic luster. It's pretty soft. It's definitely really dense. Um, and this bright yellow color is going to be one of the main things that um, divides it from other metallic minerals when you're looking at it. And so to show an example of that, here we have... Um, a piece of a hydrothermal vein. So this was a vein that intruded into this host rock here. And in this, we see we have another metallic mineral, just looking at the luster, the shine of it, and maybe some gray things here. They look a little shiny as well. This white stuff is quartz, which is common in hydrothermal veins. And this yellow here is distinctly different from the yellow of real gold. Now this mineral here is likely to be something like pyrite, a sulfide mineral, which is really common to occur with gold. And so when you see this, it's always good to look and see if you see something bright or yellow, or when you see the quartz and maybe these gray minerals as well, look for that bright yellow and the metallic luster, and you'll be looking at gold. But this is not obviously a super common mineral, but it's just gonna be something that we'll see in class, and this is gonna be the best example we have of it. Thank <laughs> you. 